Shalom. Our verse today is Matthew chapter 13, verse 29. But he said, No, because when you weed out the weed, you might pull up the wheat with it. Matthew chapter 13 presents us with a series of parables concerning the kingdom. In verses 24 to 30, the story is about the wheat, the wheat and the weed. A certain man sowed wheat on his farm. The sowing was during the day. While everyone was asleep, the man's enemy entered his farm and sowed weed. The wheat and the weed grew up together. The servants of the man were upset about the situation and wanted to resolve it by uprooting the weed. The man, however, stopped them. He explained to them, when you weed out the weed, you might pull up the wheat with it. That is, the destruction of one may lead to the destruction of the other. The wheat represents the good and the weed represents evil. The wheat represents the presence of God's kingdom in the world. It has been planted and it is growing. However, the devil is not happy about it and wishes to hamper its growth. Jesus speaks of the devil in John 10.10 as coming to steal, kill and destroy. This is the reason why he planted the weed. This explains why we have good and evil in our world and why we have good and bad people in our societies. Why did the master instruct his servants to leave the weed in his wheat? If you are a farmer, you will notice that the wheat and the weed are not distinguishable at first. Since you can't distinguish which is which, it is better to let them grow until they can be distinguished. At such a time, however, their roots have intermingled. This makes it more difficult to separate them. It is not easy to outwardly distinguish good people from bad people, to distinguish who belongs to God and who does not. Anyone who tries to parch the world of evil will end up hurting innocent and good people. Let me give you a concrete example. Hamas is evil. The group does not deserve to be in human society. Israel's effort to eliminate Hamas, however, has led to unwanted casualties. Many innocent and godly Palestinians have fallen. Mind you, some of them are Christians. So, is it justifiable to kill innocent people in order to kill evil people? The weed has so was sown in the farm because everyone was sleeping. In order not to start struggling on how to push evil in our society, to push the society of evil, we have to present it, prevent it from even taking root. We have to remain awake and keep watch. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. As for the elimination of evil that has already taken root, only God can do a perfect job. Put your trust in Him and not in your efforts. Let us pray. Lord, help us to keep our society free of evil influence. Amen.